Thank you for tuning in to Catching Kiara. I am super excited to let you all in on um, this video shoot that we did, which is Sunday Flow, and it's coming out really soon, featuring Sir the Baptist. Um, you can find out more information about him on Instagram. It is Sir the Baptist. But I had some really cool volunteers. Um, and just creatives that were in on this and I'm super excited about the support that they gave me. Shout out to DJ Rue, Amber Womack, um, Hair by Crisante, and Pure Beauty, and then Martise. You'll get their names, so I kind of gave some nicknames and I gave some um, real names. So check them out on social media, of course we'll um, list them there. Uh, but check it out, it's super exciting. And to see what they've done, um, that's even more inspiring. We had so much fun. So I want to cover some questions here because a lot of people have asked me, how do you remain patient uh, when building a brand? And I remain patient because over time I've learned that stress, tears, no sleep, none of that expedites the process. And even when you're frustrated with people, your team, uh, you have to leave room for human error. And that's how I've gained patience. Over the years, I've gone through the motions of just being completely angry, yelling at people. And uh, in my youth, my years of youth, I have had moments of when I was just kind of trying to act like a female diddy and it's like that doesn't fly and neither would I let it fly if I were the other person on the other end of the stick. So I like to treat people with respect and if I express something and say that I am dissatisfied with something and if they don't get it and if I'm possibly paying them then I have a right to put a different kind of demand on them. Um, but outside of that a lot of us will start things you know uh, I think when we present excellence then we demand excellence when people come to the table and are interested in working with us. Uh, we are always growing, so while you're growing, don't be frustrated to the point of where it's like, you know what, I want to stop. So during this video shoot, we had a lot of hiccups. We had a lot of cancellations. We had to relocate the venue or the shoot. Um, but my brother and I were talking, and I was like, either this is going to be something really good or this is going to be something really bad. And then sometimes there are some no's that God allows to happen when we don't seek him and say, you know, God, what do you want to do? God wants to be involved in everything that we do. Even with you talking to an aunt, he wants to know about that conversation. And so one thing that I've learned is it's so important that we involve God or else those hiccups in the road could sometimes be God protecting you and what may not be a good contribution, uh oh, I'm stuttering, a good contribution to your brand. So here it is, um, Sunday Flow, you'll get a piece of that. And then another question that I get is how do you work with uh, family and friends? So it's not always easy, um, but I try to leave that space of respect. And um, I've been to a place now where there's no arguing. We may, I mean, we have a healthy disagreement. You share your perspective because one thing that I've learned while we're growing is to have dis different perspectives in the room. If it's only your perspective, then you don't have the opportunity to evolve or to broaden your horizons. Um, to broaden your horizons, you learn different cultures. You expand into different parts of the earth. So I think this is another thing that I've had to learn as well. And I'm super excited to have the brains of gold in the room with me. Um, and one other thing that I've learned is though it's your vision, though it's your plan, know what that is and hold it dear and tight to your heart but make sure the people around you are holding that to their heart as well because people will begin to get sloppy which I am witnessing that now people get sloppy they're more concerned with themselves and sometimes it could not necessarily be oh that they don't have your vision at heart but it could just be a mentality that you have to break through or break down or if they don't want that you know change in mentality then perhaps we got to make some adjustments and that is to simply move you um, and that can be hard as well so I've just been praying and asking God to give me peace to make the adjustments allow people to come in and to accept those good perspectives those good ideas and to be ready for it to be a good business mind to be a good businesswoman um, but I do want to encourage those who are brand builders out there because a lot of us are brand builders we are all over social media I mean this generation of Millennials we are quite intelligent quite intellectual very aware and a lot of our questions can be interpreted as a form of disrespect when actually we're just very inquisitive individuals which is a good thing um, because we should ask questions um, I remember in elementary school they said 
things like, I mean, some of the most priceless lessons were in elementary school, and that was silence is golden. Or another one was you can never ask a dumb question. So I'm always asking questions, but while you're the brain or the builder, the brand of this company, um, I forgot what I was saying, but I will say just make sure you're not carrying this idea of I know it all. Um, it's good to have a mentor. It's good to have an advisor. We always talk about the village. So here it is. Oh, that's what I was going to say. If you're a brand builder, don't be discouraged. If you have cancellations, if you have hiccups in the road, that doesn't mean that it's not to be. It is very much so meant to be. Um, but two, while you're discovering, the Lord could be rerouting you to what your true purpose is. So just pay attention to what life is saying. Pay attention to what God is saying through the no's and through the yeses um, and keep it moving rock on you are necessary in the earth the world is waiting to hear you and continue to grow your brand and do your thing don't let anyone tell you that you are not this or you are not that um, unless it is a God saying that it is confirmation um, and pushing you into purpose and to destiny but here it is Sunday flow I hope you're inspired I hope you're encouraged oh here's one other thing so you're gonna catch me in the video kind of directing um, which I used to be very shy and I didn't want to, you know how we say, oh, I didn't want to bother people. Listen, you got to make some money and you're trying to build this brand however big and however dope you want it to be, you're going to have to bother some people. And I think that's a part of the journey that we have to adapt or um, accept, which is, Ain't nobody gonna do the footwork for you all the time. You're gonna have to walk in the room and say, hey, I'm here, this is what I need. You may not get the first call back, but you may have to call back again and say, hey, I'm here. Um, it's kind of a out of sight, out of mind thing, but uh oh. But going back to the director piece, um, one thing that I would never do beforehand was getting involved with the creatives. But when your name is attached to something and when it's your brand and when the world is going to see what you're putting out, it's okay to make sure your voice is heard and in the building. So um, here I am, kind of putting on different hats. And um, it was really exciting to work with my brother, to see what he had, and to see how we worked together. It was just so much fun. And I hope that even the young people and young adults were, who were in the room were inspired. It was fun. Going back to who was in your corner, though, you got to make sure some good people in your corner. Because if they don't create um, a punctual, creative, fun, good vibes kind of atmosphere that's gonna mess it all up you know so um watch who's in your circle make sure they're ready for you and what you have to offer but not only that make sure they're ready for what god is getting ready to do in your life i'm getting ready to see something i never seen all right here we go bye <laughs> I'm super excited because today is a shoot day and as you can see my family is surrounding me. Michelle's behind the camera, that's family too. But we're doing the shoot for Sunday Flow which is a new song that's coming out. And I'm doing a ghetto girl scene so that's why I look like I look. And um, my little sister uh, Lauren is putting on these nails. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna spotlight, we're gonna spotlight Key for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Kier, what all did you have to do to prepare for today? Um, I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. Actually, I woke up at 4, but I pushed my time back. <laughs> and I woke up at 6, and I had to wash my hair because I didn't feel like washing it yesterday. And um, I pulled some clothes for myself, so I didn't feel like paying for a stylist, unfortunately. Um, 
So I did some styling. So hopefully you like it. Vote for me. Yeah. Yeah. And um, but I washed my hair and then I came to the office. Patrice prepped me. George got here on time. Can you Go believe ahead, it? George. Good. With my fat self. Get ready to say it, but I just <laughs> wanted you to say it for yourself. He's usually always late. Um, but that was it. And then I came and Lauren and Michelle is here, so hopefully that'll help. And look at my jewelry. Lauren, let's get the jewelry so we can show them that I'm taking it back. Real didn't come. So these are the things that I come up against with being my own stylist. This is why I need help. <clears throat> but I ordered my grill, I think Tuesday, yep. and I paid for it and had asked them to overnight it. I didn't get it yet. So I won't shout out that company. But yeah, uh -oh. there's my jewelry, my ghetto. Taking it over. <laughs> So when I went to go and get it, um, when I went, it was silver. It looks really good. They dipped it in gold. But the lady was trying to, I found it in hand traffic. But the lady was trying to charge me like 200. I said, ma'am, it is nobody coming in here. If I walk out of here with my $100, you're not going to get $100 today. And she was like, okay, okay, I do it, I do it. We had a lot of cancellations. And we still pushed through it. My brother's doing an incredible job. Shout out to Antarell McCoy as well. Um, everybody's just doing amazing. Bella Jones is doing really good. We had a lot of hiccups in the road. And then, man, my brother had a conversation. I was like, either something really good is about to happen or something really bad. But I think it's about to be something really good because of our hearts behind it. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Yay. With my fat self. Chicken bag. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Long, straight. We're doing a straight look. The frontal. Then we have curly wand. I'm gonna tease it real big. Monty's creation. And then we have razor cut bob. So how is it working with Kiara? Uh, it's pretty fun. This is my first time, second time, sorry, second time working with her. Um, very down to earth, cool. Totally. <laughs> Crispy cream shear. Oh. <laughs> There's one of the bums. Every time I see him, he cracks me up. <laughs> What's the name of your lip balm? It's called that new lip balm. It's called Crack Balm. <laughs> Why you poke about that? Why you poke about that? That's so dumb. That's so dumb. <laughs> Some, anybody got some Dre beats? This is the director. Yes. Anybody have? Oh, you got some headphones? Yeah. Let me see. What, you, you got an adapter? Like, like a headphones adapter? Yeah. So we're working we with your ready to film. You are a saver right now. It's like my two ponytails. Did I style myself? Yeah, okay. Fresh feelers. I used to, my Uncle Ethan used to take me to get fresh feelers 
after school like every week. And when he had his daughter, it was all over. So shout out to my Uncle Ethan and Madison for taking the joy away. <laughs> Looking good, King. Thank you, yeah, sister. I, I got on my good spank. Hey. To hold this together. Uh, here. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Let me do that one. Um, the headphones adapted. That one pink. Is this a, is this Zoom? My no. teeth. Okay. <laughs> Who keeps slamming the door? Don't hurt her though. You gotta go high. A whole bunch of naps in there. Why don't you hurt her? Don't come, isn't that? Oh, yeah. Hey, Ashley Lips. Not right now. Not right now. Tell him, brother. Yeah. That new bomb. Go ahead, and say Crack stick. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Audio stick. 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 Styles. Um, I'm also a part of the glam squad, so I say I'm kind of tapping. I'm double tapping. Whatever can make the project happen. And we got Sister Martise over here. Hey, girl. My name is Martise. I'm Martise. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Martise. 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 Hey, Again, Pure Beauty 007 on IG. Yeah. All about me. I'm coming, babe. Oh, okay. So, this is Hair by Crisante here on Instagram. Y'all already know who this is for. Y'all already know. Y'all already can get a glimpse of who yeah. this might be yeah. and who this might be. Y'all yes. know this familiar looks. Y'all done seen it. So, is that's Lee what I'm working at right now. Lily is here, but Lily is, is on set. So, we're working on Sister Mary and the others.
No, we gotta do the red. Talking about the red. I need all of it. Or a dark lip. Yeah, the red. You can actually paper What's going on? Tell me something. Should I put on a no, y'all, I'm gonna plug that in. Y'all don't have to really, you know. So, he's gonna, what we're gonna do is chop in right back. We're gonna chop him in to say, you gotta say, say, go back into that. You know, that is so me that my lady, my people are giving y'all the Y'all can Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Here's the trash bag for. Yeah. 